Thank you, Madam Speaker. The Public Investment Corporation, the PIC, is an important and strategic institution as it deploys more than two trillion into the mainstream economy, important for South Africa and the rest of the continent. First and foremost, the decision of the PIC must at all times benefit workers whose money is managed through GEPF. One of the misconceptions which we must disabuse ourselves of is from the narrative that we want to paint the PIC as a corrupt ridden asset management company, an attempt to undermine the achievements of Africa's largest asset manager under African leadership. However, transparency at the PIC at all levels is non-negotiable. Fit and proper individuals who understand the investment space should constitute the PIC board. The DI's attempt to depoliticize the PIC, particularly the appointment of the board, is misguided and must not be entertained. The notion that politicians are inherently incomplete should be done away with because it is not true. Maybe it's true for the ruling party because we have seen the results over the years. But when we take over government, which is the EFF, we will demonstrate that with competence, the PIC will be guided competently. The PIC will be guided politically and in consistency with the country's developmental objectives. We cannot make permanent decisions because of temporary frustrations, which will lead to long-term consequences. So we welcome the PIC board and the bill, and we will, it will go a long way in improving governance. We welcome the inclusion of union members into the PIC board and hope that it will lead to a meaningful workers' representation. We also welcome the requirement for the PIC to report in a transparent manner, and we are the first party to make this demand, even when we arrived in Parliament many years ago. What is unfortunate, House Chairperson, and we've also raised this both in committee and the House, is the fact that while the PIC makes investments in properties, building malls and schools, the people it invests money on behalf of do not have houses. Majority of public servants do not own houses, they stay in, and the housing allowance is so insignificant, it's shocking. Those who can afford to buy houses through mainstream banking institutions, such as FNB, ABSA, and NetBank, are exploited and made to pay extremely high levels of interest. And when they fall into financial difficulty, difficulties, banks are so quick to repossess their properties. We have called on GEPF and the PIC to work together to develop a funding mechanism to assist servants to buy and own houses especially since we will expropriate land without compensation. Yeah. Lastly, House Chairperson, the EFF will work with the PIC for state-owned asset manager to offload assets where it is overexposed into the prudently ex politically insulated management of the sovereign wealth fund. The EFF government will give asset management companies 12 months to change ownership to mainly black people, particularly African with adequate ownership by women and people living with disabilities. The AFF government will give asset management companies six months to change their management to mainly black people, particularly Africans, so that when they form the majority at all levels of management, with 50% of management being women and 10% being people living with disability. The EFF government will establish an incubation program for black asset managers to increase the share of the industry assets managed by black firms to two trillion, with 50% being women and 10% being people living with disabilities as owners by the year 2022. I thank you, Madam Chair.